Hello everyone, welcome to Basic TCM brought to you by Lamp Acuity Wellness Foundation Inc. Topic for this video is Yin and Yang Organs of the Body. Yin and Yang rule each stage of our life. Therefore, illness too is ruled by Yin and Yang and is caused by an imbalanced state of Yin and Yang. It is possible to cure illness by ensuring balance between the yin and yang. This balance could be brought about by acupuncture, diet, herbal therapy, change of lifestyle, etc. And not in just any one way. It is also necessary to maintain that balance so that one stays healthy. Understanding the relationship between yin and yang is important for both preventing and treating disease. The human body can be divided infinitely into yin and yang, down to the level of the cells. But even a cell is not absolutely yin or yang in nature. It has both aspects. Yin and yang cannot be divided or separated. There is no yin without the yang or vice versa. Looking at the interior, we have both yin and yang organs, also called solid or zhang, and hollow or fu organs. Yin or solid organs nourish the body with blood, nutrition, water, and air. They circulate and distribute nutrients and fluid. Yang or hollow organs are mainly functional organs. They absorb nutrients from foods consumed, eliminate unwanted toxins, fluid and stools, enable yin organs to receive pure nutritional energy. The five major yin organs are the heart, lung, spleen, liver, and kidney, and the five major yang organs are small intestine, triple heater, large intestine, gallbladder, and urinary bladder. In traditional Chinese medicine, the overall health of the five primary yin organs and their yang partner are of utmost importance to nurture and nourish the whole being, physically, energetically, and emotionally. The five primary yin organs, heart, kidneys, liver, lungs, and spleen, are involved in the functions of collecting and storing. The front of the body is yin and where the meridian channels for the yin organs flow upward. When looking to heal an aspect of the whole being, the cause is always the yin organ. The symptom is expressed through the corresponding yang organ. Therefore, treating and healing the yin organ will heal the imbalance and the symptoms. On an emotional level, these five primary yin organs store and express the following emotions. However, they do not create the emotion. Each organ in the body has an element of yin and yang within it. Our internal organs and systems are classified and connected. The imbalance of the qi in yin and yang causes various ailments and diseases in our body. In TCM, the five elements or five phases theory outlines the relationship between the different elements in nature and the life force or chi that flows through them. The basic elements are wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. Each individual is a blend of these elements. And in order to be truly healthy, they need to be balanced. Understanding how the five elements affects one's health can help the doctor develop a comprehensive and effective treatment plan to eliminate chronic conditions. In this conceptual system, the five elements are constantly moving and changing, each becoming dominant at different times in the natural cycle and affecting an individual's health. The five elements are used to interpret and explain physiology and pathology. Each element is associated with different body organs, colors, flavors, senses, emotions, and weather. Health conditions arise when the five elements become imbalanced. 
one element will become too strong or active. As practitioners of TCM, we are able to determine the disharmony between the elements of the patient. The assessment and diagnosis process is very thorough. In addition to testing your blood sugar and cholesterol, we will note factors such as the color of your skin and the sound of your voice. We will also ask questions to determine your sensory experiences as well as discover what areas of your body or mind are troubling you. Each individual is a blend of the elements and in order to be truly healthy, these elements need to be balanced. All of the information that the doctor gathers will be viewed comprehensively using the five elements model. For example, if a patient has a yellow cast to her complexion and is experiencing bloating, lethargy, and muddled thinking, the doctor will examine the earth element more closely, the spleen and stomach. The treatment plan is aimed at restoring the balance of the patient's chi. Acupuncture adjusts the flow of chi through the body's meridians to restore healthy function. Acupuncture is just one of the treatment modalities that a practitioner may employ in his customized treatment plan. Clinical nutrition, structural alignment, detoxification, and Chinese herbs are other treatments that can help you attain optimal whole body health. The Chinese medicine's 24-hour body clock is divided into 12 2-hour intervals of the qi or vital force moving through the organ system. Chinese medicine practitioners use the organ body clock to help determine the organ responsible for diseases. For example, if you find yourself waking up between the hours of 3 and 5 a.m. each morning, you may have underlying grief or sadness that is bothering you, or you may have a condition in the lung area. If feelings of anger or resentment arise, you may feel them strongest during the time of delivery, which is 1 to 3 a.m., or perhaps if you experience back pain at the end of your working day, you could have pent-up emotions of fear or perhaps even kidney issues. The body energy clock is built upon the concept of the cyclical ebb and flow of energy throughout the body. During a 24-hour period, qi moves in two-hour intervals through the organ systems. During sleep, qi draws inward to restore the body. This phase is completed between 1 and 3 a.m. when the liver cleanses the blood and performs a myriad of functions that set the stage for qi moving outward again. In the 12-hour period following the peak functioning of the liver, from 3 a.m. onwards, energy cycles to the organs associated with daily activity, digestion, and elimination. The lungs, large intestine, stomach, pancreas, heart, small intestine. By mid-afternoon, energy again moves inward to support internal organs associated with restoring and maintaining the system. The purpose is to move fluids and heat, as well as to filter and cleanse. By the pericardium, triple burner, coordinates water functions and temperature, bladder, kidneys, and the liver. There are 12 main organs in the body, and the others come under this umbrella group of organs. For example, kidney is related to nervous system and bones. Therefore, kidneys govern the brain. Urinary bladder relates to uterus and prostate gland. Six yin organs are paired with six yang organs as six couples. Coupled organs have interior-exterior relationship. Always diagnosed and treated together as one unit. The lungs are associated with the nose and skin, according to traditional Chinese medicine. Many allergic rhinitis patients have irritable bowel or ulcerative colitis, others suffering with symptoms of black nose or recurrent nasal polyps are rather constipated. In such cases, treatment of one organ alone 
often cures both problems. The tripole warmer or sanja. This is the whole of the interior of the body, which, when entered into, would be warm. The tripal warmer, or sanja, houses all ten yin and yang organs, and is divided into three parts, upper, middle, lower warmer. The part above the diaphragm is upper warmer. Urinary and reproductive system is in pelvic area, which is lower warmer. The rest of the organs lie in the middle warmer. The middle warmer, which can be compared with the cooking pot, is where the main digestion and absorption of the nutrients takes place, with the intestines absorbing the pure nutrients and water and uh, sending the rest to the large intestine to be defecated. The lower warmer is the place of the kidney and urinary bladder, the urinary and the reproductive systems. The latter is very active from puberty onwards and is compared with the fire that cooks the pot and its contents. If these two warmers work well together in harmony, the upper warmer with the heart and lung will get a steady stream of energy. If the pot is too full or empty, or if the fire is too high or low, the upper warmer will be affected adversely. Therefore, when treating problems of the lungs or heart, it is first important to check if the other two warmers are working well together. When the three warmers are in disharmony, there is major imbalance compared with the imbalance in one or two organs. It is also more complex to recognize a problem of the triple warmer disharmony. Often, we see that there are symptoms in one warmer which seem like an excess state, but it is because of a deficiency of another part of the body. If we pay too much attention to the possible excess symptom, we can miss the importance of deficient symptoms elsewhere. Examples of tripal warmer imbalances. People with thin upper body and wide hips and thighs, or wide upper body, abdomen, but thin hips and legs, as examples of disequilibria in fat and fluid distribution. Bottom heavy type shows symptoms of heart and lung deficiency, poor immune system and paleness, poor concentration and memory, arrhythmia or anxiety, swollen legs and dry cough because kidneys do not ascend water to the upper warmer. Heart and lung should be tonified with points that take energy from the middle or lower warmer. TCM believes that health is achieved when the body is in a dynamic balance, meaning that all the body components, including the internal and external body, the upper and lower body functions and structures, even in between the functional activities or essential substances, are maintained in an integral harmony. This harmony is the root cause of diseases and physiological disorders. Yin-Yang theory is used as a way of comparative analysis of body imbalance, and this harmony is referred as the proportions of bodies yin and yang are out of their normal limits, becoming unequal and uncoordinated. For example, when one aspect becomes deficient, the other will be in excess. The balance is then disturbed. From a holistic viewpoint, Two aspects must be considered when evaluating disease development. Pathogens, TCM terms this as evils, and the body's resistance, TCM term is healthy energy. The conflict between the two forces is what allows the disease to either progress or recover to a healthy state. When an individual is strong and the body functions well and has good immunity, it is easier to recover from a disease. There are many factors that cause the body to become unbalanced, but they are all related to the conflict between healthy energy and pathogens. 
Physicians apply the yin-yang theory to gain a general picture of disease development and how it runs its course. The body's resources and abilities to resist can be divided into the material aspect, the TCM term is yin essence, and the functional aspect, TCM term is yang qi. While pathogens include yin and yang evils, for example, cold and dampness belong to yin evils. Wind, summer, heat, and fire belong to yang evils. Yang evils tend to damage yin essence, while yin evils tend to damage yang qi. Basically, a disease can be interpreted as the result of conflict between the yin and yang forces. Thank you very much for your attention and hope to see you on our next videos.